guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't already know, my name is Danelia. I'm not good with intros, never have been, and yeah, I, I don't like pre pre. <sighs> I don't like to pre plan too much. So as you can tell by the title of this video, it's pretty straightforward what it's going to be about. More disclaimer before I start this video because I've seen people get dragged for stuff like this. Like I myself am. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still thick. I just don't want anyone coming back to me like, I, but not easy for you to say because, blah. Like, I'm not perfect, my body is not perfect. Like, I fall somewhat into that category that I'm about to tell you, you don't have to be. So yeah, I just don't, I, I don't need to be dragged. <laughs> I'm tired of seeing people not being secure with themselves, feeling like they're not good enough because they're not a certain body type. Like, it's not making sense. Like, I understand when you're yourself, you're gonna see all these things that you don't feel like, are okay blah 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 but at the end of the day like no the reason i put slim in the distance is because i feel like slim thick is the ideal nowadays and if you don't know what slim thick is basically in my opinion um kind of what it is you know having a relatively small waist um thick thighs thick thighs is like one of the main components of being slim thick like yeah so thick thighs big butt another main component of being i feel like slim thick is mostly based on your lower body but in proportion to the rest of you so yeah so having thick thighs a big butt a small waist and like a flat stomach like and that's not me saying oh if you get a food belly you're not slim thick but like slim thick slim thicks tend to have like medium to small breasts rather than larger breasts um because i feel like usually when you have not everyone of course but when people have much larger breasts it tends to come with a larger belly area. I feel like nowadays everyone is comparing themselves to Insta models and people on TV. I kid you not, these Insta models don't look the same in real life, as in Photoshop is a real thing, Facetune is a real thing, and some people are pros at this stuff. Personally, I don't know, I don't know for the Photoshop one, that seems like so difficult to use even Facetune, but like people are pros at it. And especially when like you're like a 30 insta model with all these followers, you have certain expectations that you have to meet. So like I get it, and that's not me shaming anyone for like photoshopping their pictures or using face, you know, blah 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 blah. It's just me saying like you need to remember like they don't look that way in real life, or they don't look exactly the same. They could still have a nice body, but like it's not perfect. People still have back rows, people their butt might not be as big. Like, do you get what I mean? Their curves might not be as accentuated. Because the insta models have had surgery, but I think what people forget about surgery, like people really want to jump to surgery, but they forget that it needs to be maintained and your body is not going to suddenly stop putting on weight. Your body is still going to work as a body. My ideal body type, even from when I was younger, maybe it's because I'm from Ghana, I don't know, but it has always been to like have meat on thin thick thighs, big bum, because that, that's just what runs in my family kind of thing. So it was like, yeah, you know, my own. Like, is destined. What kind of upsets me is that it was like slim thick and just thickness and curviness, whatever. When everyone was kind of like embracing having curves and embracing, you know, having weight on you, I I just didn't like the fact that people can't just this plaster. Sorry, people can't just you know be wholly positive, and it can't just be a oh yeah we love slim thick girls we love thick girls we love big girls we love skin girls it doesn't have to be so negative like it doesn't just because you're bringing another group of people up doesn't mean you have to bring others down it should be a collective line of body positivity now it's just a thing where everyone is aiming to look the same like I'm pretty sure God gave us different body types for a reason we are not all supposed to walk around looking the same with me I wasn't always like slim thickish in my opinion I like I've always had like thigh there and I've, I've always had a butt that's one thing but like I've definitely gained weight like over the past year or two um, but before that yeah like I said I've always had a butt and I've always had thighs there but I would consider myself like my weight was very fluctuating like sometimes I was on the slim thick border sometimes I was a slim with a big butt like when when I started gaining weight gaining weight I was like okay like oh like I like this because you know I'm getting more thighs my butt is getting even bigger blah 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 great lovely but it wasn't like I feel like if you don't have the confidence within you already your body changing or you changing your body I think people think it's a miracle 
is a miracle. Mir Why can't I speak today? Miracle cure. You have to have that confidence within yourself already. Do you get what I mean? Self love, confidence, all that stuff is a mindset. It's great that everyone is now going to the gym because back in the day, it wasn't like that. I would go to the gym for bands. I wasn't a proper gym banger. Um, even now, I'm not very consistent with the gym. I'm very on and off. Like I can lift heavy, but like I'm very on and off. It's great that every, like people are trying to go to the gym. I don't feel like it's always for the right reasons. I kind of sound like, okay, but you won't train. You do the bra. Like I said, that's always been my ideal body type. And I naturally, when I gain weight, majority of it, like obviously, it goes everywhere. That's how everyone's body works. But with me, it naturally goes to my butt and to my thighs. So it's like, if I've got that, let me just train it. Do you get what I mean? And let me make sure it's toned and make sure it's perky and bra, all that kind of stuff. Not like, not necessarily like, oh, I'm desperate to gain weight. Like for me to feel like I fit in and for me to feel like, yeah, like I'll get male attention. Oh. Um, all that kind of things like you know it's not for the wrong reasons but I feel like this is not me saying don't go to the gym to gain weight if you want to gain weight my dear do what pleases you but make sure it's for the right reason because like I said you're never going to feel that confidence that self love if it's not for the right reason like you think oh your body will change and that's it no that's not how it works but another thing people don't take into account is their genetics a lot of the time and that's not me saying if like you naturally like you know don't get gain a lot of weight in other places it's impossible to like gain weight in your thighs gain weight in your butt that's not what i'm saying I'm just saying your gains might not look the same as someone else's gain if you have different opinions i'd love to hear it like comment down below this is putting all this pressure on stuff all this pressure on your body eating the wrong things um not actually focusing on your health when you go to the gym i am someone who, who i hate cardio because i always feel like i'm dying like you know when you taste blood in your throat that's what happened oh, lord god someone's gonna tell me to go see a doctor i actually think your heart is so important you actually need to take care of your heart cardio it's for your heart that's the muscle you should be focusing on training but it's like you're focusing so much on eating 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 and a lot of the time let's be honest junk food is cheaper unhealthy food is cheaper your health like your health you're not focusing on what you're doing to your heart you're not focusing on what you're doing to your body like don't compare your body to someone else's don't like try to get the gains of someone else's focus on yourself and focus on your body and this is me talking to petite princesses my big beautiful women like like i was speaking even slim thick like everyone thick thick and like it's a thing where you just need to focus on you being healthy you loving yourself and obviously have your body goals this isn't me saying don't have your body goals like i said i'm a here and there gym goer so like i obviously have my goals my goals aren't really to change my body per se i can't lie but like yeah so whether you're trying to lose um gain maintain kind of thing it's fine to have your goals just try and make sure it's for the right reasons and make sure during your journey you still love yourself, you're still confident, you still look in the mirror and you're like, oh, bad B. But yeah, like how you feel inside is so important to how you um, succeed and reach certain goals that you set for yourself. So yeah, just make sure you're loving yourself, regardless of your body type. And another thing, if you're focused on boys, let me tell you something for free. Loads of them scream, the type is this, the type is this, the type is this. But the girls, you, I have friends, yeah, male friends, forever screaming that like, this is their certain type, this is their certain type. But my guy, that's not who I see you with. It's not that deep. It's actually not that deep at all. I will tell you that for free. It's actually not that deep. I feel like your confidence is something that radiates a lot. So if you have that there, that is like the foundation of everything. If you're like skinny, I don't feel like I should hesitate to say skinny. Like it's not a rude word, but I feel like it's become a rude word somehow but anyway if you're like skinny or slim like there, there, there are pros of that you have more of a model physique you can wear a lot of things i think people don't people underestimate this there are so many skirts that i have bought and i want to wear but i look like an adult film star i personally like i said it depends on you but i personally cannot wear it like i i yeah, I look like someone should just be calling me on babe station. If you're skinny slash slim, there are loads of things you can wear that aren't a lot of things that you can't really wear, in my opinion. Correct me if I'm wrong. Jumpsuits. 
more or less everyone will have some sort of gap but i feel like if it's like smaller i don't know why i'm doing this if you can tell what's going on but like if it's like a smaller gap it's not that deep but like i'll have gaps like this from like my back or slightly above my lower back to over like the middle of my butt and it's like you're destroying my arch i can't see it i can like kind of visualize where it is but why have I got this huge gap? Like it doesn't look good. Sometimes it happens with dresses as well. So I'll just stick to skirts and tops. Like it's like there are cons. There are pros and cons of every body type. So don't think slim thick is the perfect body type. Don't think that because you're not slim thick, you're not great. Or because you don't have a big butt, you're not great. Small booties matter, little booties matter. Um, if you're bigger and you're feeling insecure, like my sis, BBW, slay with it play with it and no one's perfect no one's actually perfect before or after surgery no one is perfect let me tell you that for free what i've got to say thank you very much for watching um thank you very much if you made it to the end as well um i hope you did be sure to check out my previous video on mental health i just want to also say a big thank you to everyone who showed me love on that because obviously like i said i was really scared about coming back to youtube like i was really scared it took me it took me four months, over four months, from when I actually filmed the video to drop it. Um, yeah, and I feel like maybe in those four months, so there were some people who needed to hear it, so I'm very sorry for that. You don't know whose purpose is aligned with yours, so just, just, just do it. So thank you very much for like all the support, all the shares, all the love, all the messages, that, and even people telling me like they could relate and like this video really helped them. If you want to follow me on my social media, that would be lovely. Um, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Instagram, if you don't know, I'm a dancer, so I post dance videos as well. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn my notifications on so you don't miss a video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.